When you invent and introduce a new product or service through technology in the market, it actually goes through a life cycle of itself. And that life cycle is called technology adoption life cycle. Now before I continue with this video, my request to you would be to stick to the bonus part of this video. I have a really special bonus content today. Now when you invent through technology and make a new product or service for the market, a very small amount of people are going to start using that product or service in the beginning. Then if the product is good, more and more people are going to start using it. After that, when the product is well received by these people, new people are going to start using it. The market is going to get bigger. And when the product is actually established in the market, more people are going to start using it. And when the product is actually in the maturity or the decline stage in the product life cycle, some people are still going to start using it on that stage of the product. Now let's visualize them and name them one by one. The first group of people are actually innovators. They are very small in numbers. They take away 2.5% of the entirety. And then you get early adopters. They are also good but they take away 13.5% and after that you have early majority and late majority. These are the biggest users of any product or services. Each of these groups take away 34 and 34 percentage combining 68 percent. And the last group of people are called laggards. The name is self-explanatory. They lag behind almost everything. And these people make up 16 percent of the entirety. Now we are going to go through each of these groups one by one. At first you are going to have the innovators. The innovators are actually the tech savvy people and they are also major risk takers. They will try out almost any product or service that is introduced in the market. You don't really need to work hard to capture this portion of the audience. And as I have already said, they only make up 2.5% of the total potential users of the new tech. The people that were using Uber in 2012 were actually the innovators. Uber actually commercially started its business in 2012. And after the innovators, you have the early adopters. The early adopters are also risk taker, but they are also visionaries. They will see the potential in new technologies that might go a long way in the future. They see the strategic opportunities that might lie and start using the product. Some visionaries might even invest in the product at this stage. Going with the Uber example, we can say that the people that started using Uber in 2013 or 14 were the early adopters of that service. After the early adopters, you're going to get the early majority. These people are actually kind of risk averse. They are going to seek references before the purchase. But they also actively seek new ways of making their lives better. For example, we can say that the people that are using the service of Airbnb are the early majority for that service. Airbnb has passed the stages of innovators and early adopters. It is not always easy to reach the early majority after early adopters. After early majority, you are going to have late majority. These people are willing to wait until a technology has been well established in the market. They are much more risk averse than the early majority. They can also be a little less socially active than the people that we have discussed before. And obviously they have a very high chance of having a conservative mindset. As an example, we can say that the people that have started using Facebook nowadays can be called the late majority of Facebook. And last but still not the least, we have laggards. The laggards always resist change. They are skeptical about almost everything. They do not like change. And they are oftentimes the least educated people in the group or they are too old to actually adapt to any new changes. I am pretty sure you can think of one or two examples for a laggard. 
there are still people in the world that are still resisting to use smartphones for their betterments. Laggards are like that. Now I have talked about five stages of the life cycle. You can actually break down the entire life cycle in two stages and call them the early market and the mainstream market. The early market consists of innovators and early adopters. The mainstream market consists of early majority, late majority and laggards. I have already said before while talking about early majority that it is not always easy to reach the early majority. That is actually true. Sometimes companies go from early adopters to absolute zero. They cannot reach the early majority. That is because they lack in some qualities that has to be met by the mainstream market. The early market is going to adapt to new products. They can try out prototypes, but the mainstream market is absolutely unforgiving. If the product is not perfected, they are not going to use it. This gap between the early market and the mainstream market is actually called chasm. It is not really easy for a company to cross that chasm. That is the challenge for the next video. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. It will help me out a lot and I will keep making better and better videos. But now it is time for bonus content. For bonus content today we have the names of the 7 days of the weeks in Spanish. Starting with Friday. Friday in Spanish is Viernes. Saturday is Sabado. Sunday is Domingo. Monday is Lunes. Tuesday is Martes. Wednesday is Miércoles. Thursday is Jueves. Again, starting with Saturday now. Sabado, Domingo, Lunes, Martes, Miércoles, Jueves, Viernes. And I have another bonus for all of you, that is the Spanish for 7 days of the week is Siete Días de la Semana. Siete Días de la Semana means 7 days of the week. And now, that would be the official end of this video. I would be very happy if you stuck around to this part of the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked anything in the video. And obviously thank you all for watching and as always, I hope you learned something new today.